Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to talk to y'all very quickly from John chapter 5. John chapter 5 is a really, what I would call a delicious chapter. There's so much that you can get out of that and learn from it. And this is leading up to the crucifixion of Christ. And he's actually talking to the Jews, the Jewish people who were seeking him out. The only reason why they didn't seize him at that moment was for fear of other Jewish people. Um, but they were plotting to kill him. And so he was talking to them about a couple of things. But I will just, I'm only going to read a certain part of it. But I will invite you to read the, enti read the entire scripture for yourself. Um, because there's so much in here that's just really, really good. And I, um, I think you guys will enjoy it. So guys, I'm going to go to John chapter 5 and 39. And this is one of the things that Jesus was saying to those, uh, the Jewish people. Search the scriptures for in them you think you have everlasting, everlasting life. And they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you that you have not the love of God in you. I am come in my father's name and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? How can you believe which honor one another and seeketh not the honor that cometh from God only? Guys, there's so much that's in that those few chapters. Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have everlasting life, and there are they which testify of me, and you will not come to me that you might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that you have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? One of the things that we have to realize when you are a true follower of the Lord, when you are a true follower of the Lord, you are going to be all about Christ, be about the Lord, about our father's business. And when you are, when you're talking about the true gospel that comes from Jesus, when we're talking about his sacrifice, when we're talking about worshiping him in spirit and in truth, where we're talking about obeying him and following after him, when we're talking about things like living righteous and holy life, um, following after God with a whole heart, um, obeying his commandments and things of that nature, I'm here to tell you, you're not going to be received by people. You're not going to receive honor for that because the word became flesh and was before man and they would not receive him. But yet if someone else come in their own name, they will receive that person. And you see that today. A lot of people that you see a lot of people, they have their platforms, their churches. They're not about honoring God. They throw God out there, but it's really about them. It's about them. It's about stuff. It's about, you know, tickling the ears and satisfying the flesh. And, you know, they let's throw God on there. God is like frosting and topping, but underneath there's something else there. And you find that these individuals, they will receive honor. They will get the invites. They are going to have the large following. They are going to be in the circle of the no. And it's going to appear that, you know what, they're doing good this way. But I'm here to tell you that there are a lot of people that all they care about is receiving honor from man. All they care about is receiving honor from other people and not from God. They don't want to, they don't want to um, make the sacrifices that's required. They don't, what are the sacrifices? Complete obedience, mortifying the flesh. Not not our will, but his walking in complete obedience, learning how to love and to forgive, loving the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind. 
that's so easy to it just slips off the tongue it's easy to say it but it's another thing to go through the process of change that it takes to get to that place and it's not that any of us will do any kind of work our only work if you want to call it is submission to the lord our only work if you want to call it that is to open the word of god and to be fed and to be taught and to be transformed my brothers and sisters don't be surprised when you are rejected be wary when you are popular and everybody just are is just yay Jesus said to search the scriptures, but sometimes people search the scriptures to back up their iniquity. But the word testifies of Jesus Christ and his life. There's something in the scripture for us to emulate and to follow, guys. There is an example for us to follow. And Jesus is so considerate. God is so considerate. The Father, the Son, so considerate that we're left with a comforter, the Holy Spirit to help us. But you find many believers are failing and falling and, and just miserable because they do not really believe in the Holy Spirit or they're not doing the things that the Lord has told them to do. As I said in other videos, people will say, oh, I don't have the Holy Spirit, I don't have the Holy Spirit. Many times the Holy Spirit is right there with you instructing you telling you what you should not do what you should do gently suggesting when you get ready to do wrong that check in your spirit that voice that feeling of i shouldn't do this that's the holy spirit some people call it a conscience but when you're a believer in christ it's more than a conscience we have our own conscience that would kind of it, it serves as like a mirror of what you know, what is right. But the Holy Spirit is here to guide you and to lead you into all truth. But what happens when the Holy Spirit speaks to you? You just do what you want to do. When you spend a lot of your time overriding the Holy Spirit, when you know perhaps you should turn the television off and go pray, perhaps you should pick up the phone and make that call to say that you're sorry, to admit to a wrong, to do what is right, to help someone out, and you just blow it off. Go with the flow with what everybody else is doing. That's the Holy Spirit speaking to you. So if you're in the habit of always, you know, overriding the Holy Spirit more so than obeying, then he's not going to be able to really help you in other areas of your life because you don't listen. You begin to quench the Holy Spirit. People are not, people who are truly walking and, and living for God will not be popular. You will not be accepted. And just as they rejected Jesus and they were trying to find a way to shut him up is what they'll do to us. Is what they will do to you. When you see people that's being embraced by the world, by an unchanged world, key. Because <laughs> you'll find there's people that will embrace people who say that, you know, they're believers, they're preachers, teachers, but you find that the world isn't changing. They're changing and they're adjusting to the world. So that's why they are embraced by the world because the world embraces its own. Just like the Lord tells us in the book of John and in other scriptures. They did not receive Jesus and they will not receive you. They did not receive Jesus because they did not like that he spoke the truth, that he preached about repentance of sin. He called out religious leaders who were more caught up in being lauded and lionized by people. They cared about their positions. They cared about the high seats and he did not. They were worried that people were being transformed and they were seeing the truth. And this was going to take away from their pockets and it's going to take away from their brawn. And so it's not enough that they don't believe in, in, in Jesus or they don't believe he was the son of God. They wanted to shut him up. And so my brothers and sisters, I want us to not be surprised 
when you're not received by people and all you're doing is speaking the word of God. When people want to seek to shut you up, it's not be surprised when others are being imprisoned and killed and they become martyrs for the gospel and beheaded for the gospel. We're in a time that people are only seeking many religious leaders and many people that come to church. They come to church, they go to church with an ulterior motive. They open up their arms to those who are coming into it. And then on the flip side, leaders and other people, they open up their arms to people who are entering in with an ulterior motive. It's almost like a very narcissistic system. Because all the focus is about is honoring one another, seeking honor, seeking um, connections, seeking um, a platform from other people. Oh, let me just behave myself and let me compromise here and there. Maybe this person will come on my channel or maybe we can, um, you know, uh, merge our platforms. I just want an invitation. There's a lot of people that's working very hard, even on these um, platforms like YouTube, things of that nature. They're hoping to be discovered, guys. They're hoping that, you know, someone big will invite them to something major and change their life. And then you find what happened. They kind of morph, they change. If they had certain types of convictions in the beginnings, a lot of times when they become a part of these larger organizations, you'll see that they just, they change, their contents change guys. And sometimes it's only gonna take an eye of discernment to see this. Do not be discouraged when you are not received. And do not be horrified when you realize that all people care about is honor and recognition because Jesus already spoke about this in John chapter five. We must do as Jesus did, no matter what was going on, he continued on his father's business. He continued in prayer. He continued seeking the Lord and he continued doing the work of God even unto the end. And that is the same thing that we are gonna to have to do as believers. They crucified Jesus because he spoke truth. They crucified him, the principalities and powers, the supernatural. They crucified him because they knew who he was. They, they put it in the heart of humanity, the Jewish people, to crucify him because they knew who he was. But you know what? They didn't know the plan of God that he was going to raise up. So you're being attacked and you're going through things, guys, because you're a child of God. You are the light in this world. Do not allow anyone to quench your fire, to put out your light. Continue to speak the word of God. And remember this. The reason why they wanted to kill Jesus so badly was because the love of God was not in them. Period. They're going to do the same thing to us. When they attack you, they attack me, they attack us. The love of God is not in them. Why would they attack you for speaking the word of God? Even if they're offended. Come on, guys. Let's not lose focus.